Hello there. My name is Mr. Jones. And welcome to Swiss Water Decaffeination Process 101. Water has some great uses. Lights, please. It cools us down, cleans us off, gives us power, and is the essence of life. At Swiss Water Decaffeinated Coffee Company, we think it's perfect for decaffeinating coffee as well. Mm. Because it makes a great tasting cup of coffee using a process that's 100% chemical free. We know what you're thinking. You're too busy looking after the needs of regular coffee drinkers to worry about those earnest decaf types. In fact, the often neglected decaf customer can account for as much as 15% of your coffee sales, more than the sale of organic and fair trade coffees combined. Growth is evident, and baby boomers are driving the trend, frequently switching to avoid caffeine's side effects, or due to a health event like pregnancy. Typically women aged 40 to 55, they drink decaf for the great coffee flavor, not the caffeine kick, and are committed to improving their quality of life for themselves and their families through exercise programs and hobbies like, for example, gardening, and by seeking out better-for-you foods. The Swiss water process originated in Switzerland in the early 1930s and was later refined and patented in its current form at our Vancouver, Canada facility, the only one of its kind in the world. Today, the process is certified organic by the USDA and meets American, Canadian, and European decaffeination standards. Let's take a look at how the Swiss water process works. A typical green bean is composed of approximately 74% insoluble components and 26% water-soluble flavor components, including 1.20% caffeine, on average. A long time ago, we took a lot of premium, full-flavored, high-grown green coffee beans and immersed them in pure, hot water. The water extracted all of the soluble flavor components and the caffeine from the beans. The beans were then discarded and the caffeine removed using a carbon filter, creating water that was super saturated with coffee flavor solids, but not caffeine. This flavor charged water is integral to the Swiss water process. Now we're ready to actually decaffeinate coffee. Our process starts by cleaning and soaking top quality green coffee beans in water partially saturated with coffee flavor to expand their size in preparation for caffeine extraction. Next, the beans are immersed in the flavor-charged water. At first, the flavor-charged water has no caffeine, so the caffeine diffuses from the beans into the water. Since the concentration of soluble flavor components in the bean and in the flavor-charged water are equal, only the caffeine is removed, leaving the flavor intact. The flavor-charged water, now full of caffeine, passes through a carbon filter which traps the caffeine, but not the flavor solids. Because the pore size of the carbon is very specific to the small caffeine molecules, and the larger flavor molecules pass right by. The flavor-charged water 
now caffeine-free, flows back to the beans to remove more caffeine. This process continues for about eight hours until the caffeine has been removed. It's remarkably simple and extremely well monitored. In process, caffeine analysis means we can guarantee our coffee is always 99.9% .9 caffeine free. While cupping before, during, and after processing ensures we maintain each coffee's distinctive flavor. Mm. If only all coffee were decaffeinated this way. Most decaf, almost 80%, is decaffeinated using chemical solvents like methylene chloride or ethyl acetate. During direct process chemical decaffeination, coffee is soaked in a caffeine absorbing chemical solvent. The solvent, which now contains the caffeine, is separated from the beans. The caffeine is removed from the solvent, and the cycle is repeated until the coffee is sufficiently decaffeinated. Indirect process chemical decaffeination is similar, but employs the chemicals during the final stage to remove the caffeine from the solvent, which is composed primarily of water. Now, we realize that chemical decaffeination is considered to be safe, but do your customers really want their coffee to be decaffeinated using chemicals? One more thing. We've also noticed many of our competitors are using terms like natural process or European process or even water process to describe their decaffeination methods. But don't be fooled. All three often refer to the chemical decaffeination process I just described. Water process doesn't always mean chemical free. So remember, there is only one Swiss water process. From North America to Europe, to Australia and Japan. The Swiss water brand name enjoys substantial recognition among consumers. Recognition that's growing, thanks to advertisements like this. Betty! Hi! Your flowers look great. Hedge needs a little help. Now that I've got you, your porch light at night is really bothersome. And speaking of late at night, I noticed your daughter. Hmm, attracting the boys. Water has some great uses. The Swiss water decaffeination process uses only water to remove caffeine. Most others use chemicals, like methylene chloride. Look for the Swiss water logo on premium decaffeinated coffees. Hmm. We're also building consumer awareness by providing roasters and retailers with educational resources. Attractive point of sale materials. As well as the use of our distinctive logo. No other decaffeinator in the world provides this type of support to drive growth in your business. Now, we will be happy to decaffeinate your beans for you. Or, alternatively, to obtain a variety of coffees decaffeinated using the Swiss water process, simply contact your broker. Times are changing. With a wellness revolution underway, more people are looking for ways to improve their health and cut back on foods that may be processed with chemicals. Our decaffeination process helps coffee lovers do both. That's why people who know the difference choose the Swiss water process. 